Hi everybody, welcome back to Drag Me Out. On today's episode, I'm very excited. I'm gonna have one of my friends from Stage and Screen and the Marley Floor, the one and only Robbie Fairchild. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm very excited. Is this the first time we're doing drag? Oh, the very first. The, I mean, not even like in ballet or anything. Oh, okay, I did play Mother Ginger. So I did do drag and I was 10 feet tall. But you were also- With an 80 I'm, pound dress. But an old woman. I was an old woman, I didn't Yeah, feel yeah, old. and the feel... makeup was like an eyeliner and it was- It was kind of extra. Okay, but, but you didn't do it. No, no. And it wasn't... I wasn't feeling a fantasy, I was in the closet, you know, it's dark time. You were in the closet? Oh yeah. Wait, wait. For a long time. <laughs> okay, this is the now no longer makeup show. <laughs> this is a coming out story. Yeah, I didn't really get to embrace it at the time. Okay, yeah. so you were just like, I'm still butch, but I'm a woman. No, yeah, well, as butch as you can be, you know. Okay. All right, so um, obviously if you guys don't know who Robbie Fairchild is, he was in the most recent film adaption of Meow. Meow. Um, today we are not doing a kitty cat meow meow meow. No, no, no. Today our inspiration is coming from the one and only Stevie Nicks. No, Alexis Rose. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> We're getting there. Cut. <laughs> Alexis Rose, yeah. Alexis Rose, who will grow into mm. Moira Rose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But also we have um, a makeup inspiration from Aquaria. Yes. Uh, Lady Gaga, contemporary right now mm -hmm. with her makeup line. And a little bit of Miss Fame. Mm. Um, and then of course we top it all off with a little Stevie Nicks. Yeah. So this queen would be performing at Coachella. Okay. Mother Nature's and Pastor's Daughter. Yes, yes. Mother Nature and Pastor's Daughter. Yeah, if they had a kid. Once again, this is no longer a makeup <laughs> show. We are... <laughs> this is my therapy session. This is a therapy session. Mother Nature and... The Pastor's, a pastor's daughter. 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 More on that. Okay, okay, so we will sort of figure that out as we go, but at least I know where I'm headed with this. I'm excited. It's very ethereal, very like... Okay, um, apple picking yeah. and um, yeah, she's a little basic, a little basic, but with still dreams, a point. with dreams of like that top right part of New York. Now. Well, a little basic, but she doesn't look basic. Like she knows she's got good d DNA. The genes are there. Okay, so you ready? Yeah, I'm excited. <sighs> I'm worried. <laughs> Cut. There's always like um, an inroad to something new. Do you know what I mean, and everybody kind of needs that inroad. For me, when I came out, I um, never let myself watch Drag Race beforehand. Ooh, uh, ooh, I was so explain. conflicted. Explain. I grew up in Utah, and my are you fam Mormon? My family's not Mormon, but mm -hmm. I wanted to be a part of the community. I wanted to be included, and in, you know, being a dancer. Um, so if you if you weren't Mormon and if you didn't play football, you were an outcast. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't going to play football. And um, I wouldn't let myself go there because I felt if I felt the wings fly, you would become was... a stereotype. No. No? No, I didn't want that for me. I was too scared. Oh, so by watching it, you would think it would be... It would, it would um, clue me in to deeper things that I wasn't doing. Oh, you, oh so you didn't want to face it. So I didn't want to face it. Any triggers that you thought would be a thing would... Yeah. You would stay away from it. Yeah. Okay. This has become a Makeup is therapy. Drag is therapy. Yes. <laughs> so anyways, it was when I came out, I just binge watched like all the seasons and Wait. fell in love with okay, it. Okay, so everybody knows. How old are you? I'm 33. How, when did you come out? Three years ago. <sighs> Not well. Oh my god. Yeah. I've done a lot of uh, so catching up in the last three years. Uh huh. Wait, yeah. I didn't know this. Yeah, three years ago. That's wild. I started calling Mother Nature Mom. Like when I, so I started a flower shop, Bab and Perry. That's right. Go and talk about it. Put, and, uh, put it out there. Pluggy plug plug. And every time we go to the um, 
flower market from learning to get our flowers. And all these look at like different gorgeous flowers that I'd never seen before. And I go, Mom, mm -hmm. these are so pretty. Mm -hmm. You know, I did yourself, Mom. <laughs> flower shops have a So what's your flowers, uh, flower shop called? It's called Bouquet NYC. Your face is totally changing Look at now. Her. Look at that space between your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I. Who knew? Who knew? Because I have saggy eyelids. You do. Mm. But oh, you, you're very expressive right now. Well, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> So you were married to a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to third section of the <laughs> God bless. You know, mm -hmm. you just try and you think you're doing the right thing in life. You think you're doing the right thing in life. And then when, when there's collateral me? damage and they're caught in the crossfires, you're just like, oh God, just makes me so angry at the institutions that made me feel like who I was wasn't something that I should pursue. Do you know what I mean? Amen. It really, it really grinds me. Oh, so tell us about your um, experience in dance. Where have you danced? What oh, shows have you okay. been in? So I danced for um, 13 years at New York City Ballet. Oh my god. Yes. ABT. No, no, oh, sorry. Sister company. Right. Not sister company. Yeah, yeah, you're Across right. the plaza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Sorry. Um, yeah. People would call up our uh, box office when um, Black Swan the movie came out. Uh -huh. And they would say, um, when is Natalie Portman, Portman performing? Shut up. Shut up. I'm like, no, they did not. so fucking stupid. And then I um I left City Ballet to do an American in Paris on Broadway. Oh, that's right. Ooh. Wait, so you were 13 years in the New York City Ballet? Yeah, I don't know, 17. Oh my God, you're so talented. What did you do? Um, What'd you play? Uh, the Gene Kelly role. No, no, no. I mean, like, and before we go to Broadway, mm -hmm. uh, who'd you play oh, in the New York City Ballet? Oh, okay. What so was? I did. The majority of the Prince roles, like Swan Lake, Sleeping Beauty, um, but my bread and butter was the neoclassical Balanchine Stravinsky ballets. <laughs> neoclassical. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. She's becoming something, isn't she? I know. It... Whoa! Uh... Wow. You're amazing. Oh, stop! Alright, sit back down. We got some wow. more to do still. But like now, now, after all of that, now I have like a restructured face that I can actually... You fully restructured my whole fucking face. Wow! Wow! Uh... Okay. Well, um, it's been a very tricky wait, but the eyes I feel like are the very eyes close. are you see how you're... What? Um, oh, wow. She's beautiful. Okay, so now we're just gonna bring that color into mm -hmm. her face. Create lips. <laughs> so she's not Reba McIntyre. <laughs> oh, shady. 
And then we're gonna do those eyelashes, which I have a feeling we're gonna have to do bottom lashes too because we've done a full on. I really liner. like her a lot. All right, so let's getting, getting to some. know you. Interesting, this is like the first time I've gotten done up in drag. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like as soon as I came out, mm -hmm. I immersed myself in drag culture, drag bars, performances, RuPaul's. Mm -hmm. It, like, I feel like you guys and how bold you are and who you are helped me. No, truly, I'm serious. I dove into it like immediately when I came out, I started watching RuPaul's in London. I feel like, ooh, <laughs> wow. Uh huh. I feel like it gave me the permission to lean in, you know? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, back to okay. Are you ready? I am so ready. What is your name? Please welcome to the stage. Oh. Oh wait, are you introducing No no me? no, I'm saying what's your name? Please oh, yeah. welcome to the stage. Carpathia DM. Oh, wow! Ariel, eat your heart out. Whoa. Oh. My god. I am so... gagged. Look at her. So we will oh. also try it on a different wig, just to see how it feels. Um, because obviously this is a bang, but I just felt like a bang was who Carpathia is. Carpathia! But for makeup purposes, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna bring it on a, another wig. There's a sweetness to her. Right. Carpathia. Carpathia is the, the ship that was sent to help the Titanic. You know <laughs> that, right? <laughs> She was a wee little ship. Yes, <laughs> and she, you know, she was there to see, seize the day. Okay. Carp. Amazing. So we'll yeah. be right back with the other wig. All right, this is the second wig that we're looking at. And I think this might be the actual photo shoot. The other one I feel is every day, but this mm, for sure. is Carpathia DM Glamour. Oh, oh darling. Look at how snatched that puss is. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, uh, see? Uh, wow. There you go. Uh, wow. You really... Wow. You're the fucking tits. Oh, let's drop it. Well, Jesus Christ. Did I drag you out? You fucking drag me. Out, boo! Yeah. Oh, Carpathia GM. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, have no uh, sure. Share, subscribe, and enjoy. And watch out for the next episode. <laughs> <laughs>